walkthrough video of 5404 Avilia. This home is a hub zoo auction. It's actually surprisingly nice on the inside. We're located just off DeSoto Road, east of Lockwood Ridge. So the neighborhood is, is, is a fine neighborhood. This home has a pool. Um, the pool equipment is all intact, it looks like, unless there was a pool heater there. Uh, it doesn't look like there was one, but the pool equipment is intact. Uh, the home's obviously been in foreclosure for some time. Needs some screen work on the outside, but you know, it's it's not a deed restricted community here. But it's a um, decent sized lot, and it's a three bedroom, two bath, three bedroom, one bath. I I have to check myself there, but um, this is real brick on the on the exterior. Um, I think if it were painted, it would look a little, it looks a little dated as is, but decent pavers here as I come in. Um, nice big oak tree. So when I walk in, this is the living area, which is open onto kind of a dining area, open onto the kitchen, another area, and then the pool. Uh, this is actually a hardwood floor that was put down. Uh, the whole house had terrazzo. And then this 16-inch uh, diagonal tile was added, which actually did a nice job going up the wall there. Not crazy about the wallpaper, but um, the kitchen's decent. In fact, I don't think I'd change the kitchen. I would put appliances in here. Um, but the cabinetry is actually pretty nice. It's a real wood cabinets, needs knobs. Um, so there's some nice detail work. Uh, as I walk into this area, which I like the tile here too, this is it's, it's actually was well done. Definitely needs some paint. A little crazy colors here, unless you like lavender and blue. But um, doors and windows are all relatively new. The pool is um, it looks okay from what I can see in the pool. Obviously, you need to replace some screens. The cage itself is low. The fence it's fenced. It has a little shed over there. Um, and then there is a little lanai area out here. Uh, so this covered lanai area is, is unfortunately you can't get to it from here. But um, if you do notice all these windows, these are all really nice windows. I gotta say, I'm not crazy about the mullions within, but but I would not change them. There's they spent a lot of money on windows here. Let me just show you the garage. The garage is, though it's one car, it's very deep. And so washer and dryer hook up here. Uh, the panel is old and the, and the water heater is definitely old. I didn't notice any roof leaks. Need some paint, need some more action here. But um, the bathroom, which you can't see, but the vanity actually is very new and nice. And the tile work is surprisingly nice. Um, so this bathroom, I wouldn't change a thing with. It's, it's actually pretty nice. I almost said really nice, but I intend to say pretty nice. This is guest bedroom number one, and this is small. This is a small bedroom, but sure do like new windows. That, that's always one of my favorites. And then this bedroom is small also and definitely needs paint but look at those new windows making me excited and then uh this bedroom is interesting so here's the new ac ac is very new nice new windows oh there is the second bathroom yes the second bathroom is right here this is the master bathroom again tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling new uh new er shower doors um not bad at all so you can see this is terrazzo, but it was obviously had carpet in here. The nails from the tack strip still remain. And then this area, I suspect, was uh, recently enclosed at some point. And so this is kind of like a bonus room off the master bedroom. And I would be surprised this might not be part of the under air square footage because it is a slight step down there. So I need to check that and investigate that. But the backyard is great. I mean, the house and neighborhood are pretty decent. A little fire pit. Here's the pool area. And that's about it. So I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Or visit us on the website at www.yorkshireinternational.com.
Thanks for watching.